Hello everyone, Ron here from LTL Tutoring Central. Well, uh, me and my, my shadow here, you can see. <laughs> it's just the lighting situation here, and you can see all the files and work that we'll be doing later uh, today behind me with students, and I tutor online as well, don't forget. So if you're interested, just uh, shoot me an email. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, of course you can comment below or ask questions. Don't forget to do that. This video is a new collection of idioms. This is, uh, it's got a bit of a theme. It's all about food this time around. So it's a few more idioms to add to your collection. If you check below, there's playlist for idioms. There's playlist for collocations, playlist for um, reading and comprehension, storytelling. There's a number of playlists that you can enjoy. Watch all the reactions in one place, or you can just check a few individual videos out and uh, let me know. Uh, what you think of them and like I say ask questions don't forget to hit that subscribe button it helps the channel a lot check in the description below there are ways that you can donate to the channel and uh, there are sometimes other links there as well so you can check all of that out uh, the channel is growing nicely we have a good community here and uh, we want to keep it growing all right let's have a look at some idioms all about food here we are the first one is Food for thought is a perfect one to start with because all of these idioms have something to do with food and this is a general idea and it's something to think about. So for example, I'm not sure if her advice was sound, but it is food for thought. In other words, I'm not sure if her advice is correct or, or if her advice is actually going to work in this situation, but it is food for thought. In other words, it is something to think about. Maybe it will work. Maybe it won't, but at the very least, it's food for thought or something to think about. The other example, the movie we watched last night gave me food for thought. So sometimes when you see a movie, uh, whether you like it or you don't like it, it does give you food for thought. In other words, it gives you something to think about. Maybe it addressed some uh, current events or maybe uh, it looked at... Uh, something in science or maybe it just looked at relationships between people. Movies can uh, cover a lot of material and it can give you some food for thought or something to think about. Next we have piece of cake or a piece of cake. Something easy to do. So it doesn't literally mean having a, a piece of cake. First example, after all my worrying about the test, it turned out to be a piece of cake. So in other words, the test was easy. So sometimes we get very uh, anxious or we worry a lot about an exam or a test that's coming up. And then once you're in there and you realize you know the material, it turns out to be a piece of cake. In other words, something very easy. The picture I put up here, I figured most of the people watching this video wouldn't have any problem doing two plus one or two plus two. That would be a piece of cake. Next example, solving algebraic equations is a piece of cake once you know the rules. And again, it just means that it's easy to do. In this case, you do need to learn the rules and you would have to have some basic math skills first, but once you have all that, it's a piece of cake or it's something that's easy to do. Hard nut to crack. This is someone or something that is difficult to deal with. So the first example is this science assignment is a hard nut to crack. In other words, either I or we are having a difficult time uh, completing the assignment or solving the equations, etc. It's a hard nut to crack. It's difficult to do. He was a tough nut to crack, but I finally got him to sign the contract. So in this case, we're talking about a person and maybe a uh, he wasn't very willing or he wasn't uh, sure of the business model or whatever. Or maybe his personality is just one of those people who isn't all that easy to convince or isn't all that easy to deal with. But I finally got him to sign the contract, even though he was a tough nut to crack or he was a difficult person to deal with. The next one is like two peas in a pod. It means Two people who are very alike. It can also be two things that are very alike, but I've always heard it used with people. And the picture I've used here is one with twins, very young twins. Um, very cute picture as well. And I think it clearly represents where this expression comes from. If you've ever 
opened up a pea pod, you can see the little peas inside. They're very close together, packed together, and they look very, very much alike. And that's where the expression comes from, two peas in a pod. First example, Jake and his friend are like two peas in a pod. So even though Jake and uh, his friend are not related, they're very much alike. They, maybe they like to do the same things. Maybe they wear the similar kinds of clothing. And maybe they even look a little bit alike, even though they're not related. But they're like two peas in a pod. They don't have to look alike. It could just be the way that they act or the things that they like. So they're very similar in some way. It doesn't have to be in every way. Next example, Melissa and her mom are like two peas in a pod. So again, they probably have a lot of similar qualities. It might be that they look alike, but it might not be that. It might just be that they, they love the same kinds of food and same kinds of movies, or they, they laugh in the same way, or they have a similar voice. or it, you know, it can be a lot of different things, but generally there's a number of things that are very much alike. And so then we can say they're like two peas in a pod. There you have it. A few more idioms to add to your collection. As I said, I did say all about food, but in a way, it's not really about food for the most part. It's just using food and it's about other things. So food for thought, something to think about, a piece of cake, uh, something very easy, hard not to crack, something that's difficult. So those two are sort of the opposites and uh, two peas in a pod, uh, two things, usually people that are very, very similar. So hopefully this uh, video gave you some food for thought and maybe some of the other ones too, particularly the reading comprehension ones. Don't forget to check those out. Some of them are a little longer, but they're very interesting and there's some very interesting topics coming up in the future as well. So hitting that subscribe button helps and also the notification bell if you want to get notified. Uh, that'll make sure that you are when there's a new video coming along. Of of course, you can ask questions, make comments down below, or you can contact me by email and uh, talk about some of the videos, but also if you want to check out some of my online courses on Udemy or my personalized online courses, uh, it's a great way to get in touch and I offer a free information meeting so you, we can just have a chat and uh, there's no obligation. In the meantime, it is Ron from LTL Tutoring Central. Keep learning, keep having fun. I almost forgot there is merchandise link down below as well. It's a new thing. That's why I'm forgetting it. <laughs> so, so just before I say goodbye, check out the merchandise. Have a look and, uh, and see what you think. The one for LTL Tutoring, because it's for both my channels, LTL Tutoring and RJJ's Reactions. The one for LTL Tutoring has uh, pictures of books, and three of those books are my books, actually. The other ones, you can't read the titles or anything. I turn them just to avoid copyright issues. All right. Uh, keep learning, keep having fun. Bye-bye for now.